Hey everybody, I am back on YouTube. Now, as for what exactly that means, I'm not sure myself yet. What I can say is that, you know, it's been a couple of years, but I've reached a point where I believe that I can respond. So I am back on YouTube. I'm back. I want to make videos again. Now, as to what it means to be back, I'm not entirely sure what that'll entail. But what I can say is, you know, it's been a wild couple of years, you know, for me, and I haven't really been able to make videos like I used to. At one point, I was making, you know, three or four videos a week. That's not going to happen again, but I have reached a point where things are changing in my life, certain things that I've wanted to change for a long time, other things that I'm not sure of that I may not want to change, but I'm going to have to deal with. Now, that does, however, leave me able to be in a position where I think I could begin to explore the possibility of making YouTube videos again. I've, for a, quite a while, you know, I've really wanted to, you know, get back to making videos regularly. There are videos that I've wanted to make for years. There are videos I even recorded the footage for that I just haven't been able to edit together. In fact, last year for E3 2014, I made two videos for that that I never even got to edit together and put up. You know, re and my responses to the uh, the Nintendo Digital event. You know, it's been really crazy. But now things are at a point where I could get back into YouTube. Hopefully, we'll see how it works. I've had a lot of ideas over the last couple of years of new ways I could do the videos. Uh, not only that would make it more interesting in a way I could do it that's unique to my channel, but also ways I could do it and make it less time intensive. And resource intensive for me to do the videos. Now I really would would have liked to have you know a grand reopening where you were so to speak or a relaunch where I have new ca there are new cameras I want, there's new software I want, there's new equipment I want to do video different types of videos and do videos in a certain way that you haven't seen on my channel before. And you know that'll take months for me to save up for. I know I, so it's going to be kind of a gradual sort of you know experimental thing of me getting back into YouTube. You know, I'd like to thank all my subscribers, my past subscribers when I was especially active, and my new subscribers. I get, you know, several subscribers each month based purely on my older videos, which is really incredible. So this may be, you know, the first video that a lot of my newer subscribers have seen from me. Now, I will say that if you just saw one or two of my videos that you liked and have just been kind of waiting for new ones and haven't really looked at my older videos, there are some videos that I think are kind of set my channel apart that I'm really proud of. You know, Operation Blue Wave there, that's the thing, I, I sort of a grassroots hype campaign I did for Nintendo Z3 2012 when they are you know, really pulling back the curtain on Wii U. You know, that's, you know, obviously kind of obsolete at this point. But, you know, there are those videos, and, and I would like to thank you once again, all everyone who participated and helped with that. I really didn't expect Operation Blue Wave to be as big as it was to the point where people were making their, you know, fan-made Operation Blue Wave t-shirts and whatever. You know, that was a really special experience, and around the time I had to stop, you know, I had to dial back, you know, my YouTube activity. The E3 videos I've done, I did a E3 videos for the, the, the viewing parties of Nintendo's E3 presentations for several years, especially 2006 and 2011 in particular, and 2010 as well. In 20, 2006, 2010, and 2011, I did videos in the Nintendo World Store of people's live reactions to the Nintendo press conferences. And uh, those, I think, are really cool. Uh, the, the videos I think I'm the proudest of, possibly. Are, well, some of the videos I did, I did a series of videos called The Real Univa Series, where I, the Univa region of Pokemon Black and White, if you don't know, you probably do if you're watching this channel, but it's, you know, it's based on New York City and New Jersey. And I did some location hunt videos where I was looking at some of the areas that inspired different parts of the games and even parts of the anime and I even did some location hunt videos in places that weren't that much like the place in the games to see how they were different I actually do have a couple of episodes of real Unova I still I have the footage for that I have not edited together yet the real Unova videos are some of the most produced sort of the time intensive videos I've I've done and I just haven't had the time for them now hopefully I will some of the footage is so old, it's actually recorded in 4x3. So, 
and but I'm, st I'm still gonna use it. It's good footage, just older footage. It's not in HD or anything. And I actually even last month I actually recorded some new footage for a real Unifa episode that um, was based on uh, the 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 Pokemon movie with Genesect and Mewtwo in it. I don't even remember the name of it, but I I I want to do all kinds of different videos going forward. You know I've. I know I've got a lot of subscribers from Pete Dorr uh, did a video about me and I've actually I've I, I've actually I've been recognized in public not just at like the Nintendo World store or anything but I've had people like you know I'm go, going shopping at Target or whatever and I've had people recognize me off the street from my YouTube videos and I had someone recognize me in a bookstore a few people recognize me in a bookstore from the video videos Pete did about me uh, so it's been pretty interesting I know I've had a lot of requests people asking me on Twitter and Tumblr where you know am I gonna make videos again or what's my opinion on this and that hopefully I can get back into it and start really getting into doing YouTube videos again it's not gonna be like I said before it's not gonna be like you know I was making three to five videos a week I'd like I'd love it if I can get out one good video that I'm proud of and you know each week and or maybe two on a bumper week you know I could have made a lot of videos but I don't want to make videos if I don't have the time to do it well especially if I'm going to enable ad revenue on it if I'm going to ask people watching my videos to, you know, have sit through an ad, I want to make the best video I can make with the resources I have at my disposal, and you know, and I want to make something I I would enjoy watching. And if I watch something of, on my channel, if I look back at an older video where I know I didn't, you know, do the lighting as good as I could have, or if I d used a take that I knew that I could have done a better take if I, you know, started over and done it, done it over, I really am not happy with myself. I want to get my, you know, my channel page looking nice again, but that's not a priority. I think the videos themselves are my prime priority. And I'm really excited to be trying to make videos again. So I will see you guys later, and thank you very much for watching and subscribing. And if you're new to this, you know, and, and the links I'm pointing down, assuming, you know, whatever. Um, and the links you'll see, I have a, a Twitter, I have a Tumblr, I have a Facebook. And uh, no, I don't have. A, actually, I don't have a Facebook. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm 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 not on Facebook as of uh, you know May 2015. I'm just, I'm uh, holding out and you know and trying to whatever. But you'll you'll see my my social media links. My website supertrainstationh.com. And uh, I I hope you guys enjoy the videos I have to make. And thank you for subscribing and for watching.